how I got started and um, do I have any advice for script supervisors up and coming and so I thought that this would be a perfect time to do a video for you. Well, I got started uh, in the business as a dancer, but as a script supervisor, I looked around and I saw that I liked uh, being on set and I saw a lady in the corner and I said, what do you do? And she says that I am a, uh, the script supervisor, kind of like the secretary on the set. I'm sorry, I am at work and um, I've been trying to find the perfect window, but we're working. It's the morning I was trying to get it done before it got too busy, but anyway, so she said that she was like the secretary on the set, and um, my background is secretarial, old school secretarial. Um, I learned how to type before there was even erasable typing paper. And so I um, went to the library, looked up a, a script supervision, uh, and the Pat Miller book was there, so I started looking at that. I tried to take class. Um, they sent me my money back because I guess they weren't having, they didn't have enough students. And so I just read uh, Pat Miller's book, and then I was on set, and I would ask the DP questions. And then January 1990, I started doing student films at UCLA, uh, UCLA and USC. I made a little poster, put it up, and John Singleton kept it. And that May, uh, called me in to do a music video. And then uh, later on, maybe a month later, I get a call to come in and interview for Boys in the Hood. In the meantime, I did take a class with Kim, uh, with Jim Kelly Durgan, excuse me, may he rest in peace, he has passed on. And um, I needed that system. Um, I was like a fish to water, I understood everything. Um, I guess I was paying attention when I was on set and I just, you know, became a, it was like a fish to water, so it was perfect. And then I got Boys in the Hood, and I ended up taking private lessons, um, maybe about three or four private lessons, and I was off. I went back one time to him to show him the work. He had corrected a few things, and that was the, um, that was the start of my journey. Um, at the time when I became um, a script supervisor, they were trying to have more diversity, more um, uh, minority um, uh, heads of department and script supervisors are heads of department and so um, I the door of opportunity was there um, I, I but once I had that door open I definitely walked through it I am a very analytical person um, half our job is paperwork and to me it wasn't organized enough being with my secretarial background or stuff was being duplicated and so I just started following my work and I was able to kind of streamline, ask questions, and then I've always just typed my work. Uh, one of the questions was, you know, do I have any advice for people starting out? Well, you know, I think training um, is a plus. Um, there are different systems, you know, and really understanding the concept of uh, script supervising. A lot of people are taught something and they just do it, but they don't really know why they do it. And so um, I think that training is really good as a script supervisor, also taking extra classes in directing or, or editing or, or the camera, because these are the uh, areas in which we are, uh, are, are affected or our work affects them. So, um, or even an acting class to understand uh, the different beats and the different character, uh, character analysis that go through a, um, an actor's mind. Um, is also helpful. So, and I believe in reading books. Go to the library. You know, might as well. It's free, and um, and just get books on the craft, on filmmaking. And I think that that makes you a better script supervisor. When you're starting out, I would think that trying to to network, going to networking um, events to meet people, um, the student films, the graduate student films that are a little bit more advanced in their filmmaking skills, um, to get that experience, to just be on set and to uh, work out learning how to be a script supervisor is just a plus. Um, you know, in the freebies and all like that. I mean, I did all of that and then I continue to do so because some people do approach me and if I have the time, I'm able to give back and go do a freebie for somebody and maybe when I do a freebie, I bring another uh, trainee script supervisor along so that, you know, it's like a full circle thing and giving back and, and, and pushing uh, a positive uh, thing forward about our craft. You know, so I, I definitely believe in that. 
um, any advice that I would um, that was given to me was that um, that stuck with me. It was someone told me the top script supervisors type their work, and so I've been typing my work and um, having. Uh, digital notes since 1994. I started out with a brother uh, typewriter and a word processor and then I moved on to Apple. I'm an Apple products person and um, I think too there is also uh, to learn the concept of what it really means to be digital um, and so that's, that's another video as they always say. <laughs> But anyway, um, so that would be the advice that I was given. Yeah, you know, learn um, the meaning really of being digital so that you can go to that next level, uh, which is going to be mainstay and I'm sure uh, to two or three, five years tops. Um, let me see. I got to look because I forgot what other. <laughs> um, Okay, well, I think I answered everything. It says, at last, what advice would you give to someone like me who is just starting out in terms of getting the foot in the door? Uh, and like I said, is networking and doing a good job. That's how you get the next job is by doing, no matter if it's a freebie or not, someone on that, um, that set will probably go on to do more stuff. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, the whole, my whole motto of the art of continuity is to be the best script supervisor for the project and to be the best means that you do your homework you know be um, up with the latest and greatest uh, techniques and tools and try to um, whatever you are you may be um, lacking uh, let's say you're not really good at matching um, then you know concentrate on that study that you know so just be the best script supervisor possible well I hope that answers your questions I hope you're having a blessed day and um, get out there and um, you know just put your your best foot forward um, think positively uh, don't complain when you get on a job because that's what I, I see a lot of people do they like um, wishing for a job and then they get a job and then they complain about the job once they're there. So don't be, don't that, don't let that be you. All right. Have a great day and um, I will talk to you soon. Peace.